Hi again, uh, here we are to continue with our discussion of jQuery, add class, remove class, and this dialog box thing, right? And uh, we've got our dialog box all set up with its close button. And uh, what I want to do now is I want to, you know, hide the dialog box and then show it when you click something or do something on the page, okay? So right now the dialog box shows all the time, right? And we kind of needed to do that when we're testing here. But let's imagine if we scroll up here to our style sheet, you know, we can hide the dialog box with our style. So if you see modal right here, if I said display none, right? Because that's this is the container for the dialog box. When I refresh, you know, there's no dialog box, right? It's, it's still on the page here, like there it is, right? But... Uh, you know, we don't see it because, you know, the style says display none, right? So, um, you know, and we can kind of look here and you can see like, oh, there's display none. And if we turn that off, then it appears again, right? Okay. So, uh, so how do we handle that, right? Well, let's add another style here. I'm going to say modal dot show. Okay. So in this syntax for CSS, um, an element has to have both of these class names. If you put the space here, that's something different, and it means that an element inside the modal, okay, somewhere inside that tag, another tag with the class show, okay? When there's no space, it means that the element has to have both of these class names, okay? And this is what we want in this case, okay? And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say display block, Okay. Now, since, you know, our, our element here will have the modal class and then this, you know, modal will also apply, right? Because they both say modal, right? So essentially we'd have both of these styles at the same time, but since this one comes later in our style sheet, um, it, will, it will overwrite the other one. Okay, so when both of these are in effect, um, it'll be display block. If that some for some reason doesn't work, you can always give this um, the important um, declaration important. <laughs> you got to spell it right. Okay, so you can give it exclamation point important, and this says that this overwrites other rules. Okay, as long as those rules aren't also marked important. Okay, so you could do that also. Okay, so uh, so how do we get the show class added to our dialog box. Let's let's test this out just, you know, I mean, you might as well test these things, right? You know, so I test it there, the box is hidden. Uh, oh yeah, display none. What if I go into the inspector here and I add the class name show? Oh, there it is, now it shows up, right? And if I remove the class name show, it goes away again, right? So all we need to do is go back to the few lessons ago when we talked about jQuery add class and remove class, and we want to, you know, um, uh, add the class here, right? So have a link or something on the page that adds the class. Let, let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to find my way to the body tag here, and I will add an element to the page. Um, maybe I'll make it an anchor tag like this, and I'm just going to put the hash mark in there and say um, show modal, okay, as the um, selector, okay, and maybe we'll give this an ID name to make it easy to select, and we'll call it show modal, okay, so there's our, our ID name, okay, and, and then we want to show this modal dialog box, right? Um, I'm going to give this dialog box a, um, a, an ID name also. Okay, so I'll say, you know, hello dialogue. Okay, um, and we'll just do the whole thing with ID names. That'll make it really simple and clear. Okay, so, so we've got an ID here to identify this link, and then I've got an ID here to identify the dialog box. Okay, let's go to our script tag. Now remember, we've got jQuery imported, so we're going to use jQuery, so our script comes afterwards, and the script always goes at the bottom of the body tag. So we'll use the jQuery selector, and what we want to select is the hello uh, dialog. Let me make sure that was the name, yeah. 
Uh, oh no, show modal, oops, okay. Show modal is the one that we wanna select. Sorry about that, right? So we're gonna do show modal and then we're gonna add a click action, okay? And uh, remember, click requires a function, so we're gonna type the entire function in here and make sure we don't miss any characters, right? And then our function can receive an event object. Okay, so let's use the event object here. Now normally when you click a link, an A tag, the anchor tag, right? Something happens, the browser does something. In our case, it's gonna actually scroll to the top of the page, but it might do other things. Um, uh, you know, and you know what I wanna do is I wanna prevent the things that the browser would normally do when you click on an anchor tag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the event object this time and I'll say event.prevent um, default, okay? And when we call the prevent default method on the event object, it prevents the default behavior of that element, okay? So um, in our case, it really, you could leave this out and it probably isn't gonna affect anything or nothing that you'd notice, but in other cases, it will make a big difference. Um, and we'll talk more about that later, but uh, for right now, um, you know, we'll add that in just to show that you can do this and this gives us a use for the event object, right? Or one of the uses of the event object, right? So now that we've done that, let's add a class to our modal dialog box. So um, I think this, the dialog box was hello dialog. Right, so we'll use the ID name here. Right, so we'll select it with the jQuery selector. And what we'll do is we'll say add class. And the class we want to add is show. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll save that and we'll uh, refresh here. And there's my link. And when I click it, the dialog box shows, right? Gotta, my style sheet is not quite right because this thing should be all the way at the top, but uh, we'll fix that in a moment, right? Okay. Um, but anyway, there we go. So now we want this um, this close button to close the dialog, okay? So how are we going to do that? Well, let's add another selector here, right? And um, what I want to do is I'm going to give it a, um, a class name here for the close button, right? So if you recall, our close button is called, you know, close button, right? Our class name, close button, okay? And what I want to do is add a click action to the close button like this, and we'll put the event object in there, okay? And you could do an event prevent default, but actually, you know, the close button is a div, and normally when you click on a div, nothing happens. So, so it wouldn't, you know, it's no need to do that here in this case, right? Um, but anyway, there we go. We've got our close button there. And then what I want to do, okay, is I want to search up the DOM until I find an element that has the class name modal. And then I want to remove the show class, right? So, so, you know, when this is displaying, it'll have the show class here, and you'll be clicking on the element somewhere inside. And so what I want to do is I want to look up the chain here, you know, look up all these tags until I get to an element with this name. And then I want to remove the show class, okay? So we can do that with jQuery. jQuery has a lot of great... Um, search method. So what we're going to do is we're going to say this, and that finds, you know, the element that you clicked on. So this is the close button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say parents with an S, okay? And parents looks at all the parent objects, and it goes up the chain. And what I'm looking for is, a, is the object that has the, um, the parent object that has the class name modal. Okay, and then when I find that element, I'm going to use remove class to remove the class show. Okay, so let's give it a try. So we'll refresh here. I'll click on the modal box, and then I'll click the, uh, the, the close button, and then our dialog box goes away, right? And then we can open it up again. 
and put it away again, right? So anyway, so there you go. So, so this parents thing, just let's go over that again, right? What's going to happen here when we say this, right? Um, remember, this is the current object, and the current object is the close button, right? So it, you know, it's this guy, right? Now, parents says, um, you know, and it's parents with an S, right? Because there's a, there's a parent property without the S, which is something different, okay? So parents says, you know, let's look at all the parent objects until we find one that matches this description, okay? So what's going to happen is we're going to start here and then look at the parent objects. These are actually siblings, so it's going to ignore those guys, but it's going to go up to this one and then ask, hey, do you have the class name uh, modal? Uh, you don't have it. So it'll go up another parent here, and it'll look for the class name modal, and it'll find it, right? And then on that element, once it's, you know, once we're here, we're going to be, you know, we're going to be targeting this element, and then we'll say remove class on that element, okay? So anyway, so I'll save that, and I'll leave that for you to study there, and then we'll, you know, we'll continue this in the next video.